Welcome back to Digi Bros, everybody. Did you see Bomberman's happy face for a second there? That was cool. Yeah, man, he emotes. Um, Bomberman, the real emoji. So we talked a little bit about Pokemons. Um, yeah. Now we're gonna talk about something different. Are we? I hope. <laughs> Has anything else been uh, captivating your attention as of late? Eh. <laughs> it's all been Pokemon, man. It's all I've cared about. It's all I have the energy to care about right now. It feels weird to talk about Pokemon while we're playing Bomberman. We did yeah. enough Pokemon talk in our Pokemon uh, run through. It's funny, too, because uh, the PCP is planning to do a Pokemon uh, podcast soon. And, um, a Pokey. And, like, everyone wants to be in on it and stuff. Oh, and, God. like, I, I was like, you know. It's that sounds like a... it's gonna fucking suck because it's gonna be Nate and Hippo and Davu not getting Pokemon. <laughs> Nate loves Pokemon. I thought he was complaining about the new game and shit. It, he had complaints, but he loved the game. I see. Um, I thought I thought he was one of those hadn't played Pokemon in forever and no, just bitched no, about no. it. No, no, he's played them all. Um, Hippo doesn't doesn't care for Pokemon and yeah. wants to argue Fuck. about it. Uh, Davu has no interest in the podcast at all. Um, oh, so a bitch, dude. But when I said everyone, it didn't literally mean everybody. But we're also inviting Mumkey. Um, so there's like seven people planning to be on. But like the thing is, I was like, Pokemon is such a broad subject that like yeah. if we all try to chip in about every aspect of Pokemon, <laughs> this will be an all day event. Yeah, like, that's uh, gonna be. A th- I was like, me and Victor podcast. when we did the when we did the um, Leaf Green. Let's Play series, because it was, like, celebrating the 20th anniversary of Pokemon or whatever, mm. we just talked about our history with Pokemon for, like, six episodes. <laughs> like, two hours of us talking about our history with Pokemon, and that's only two of us, you know? Yeah. And you're not that talkative. Compare that to, you know, if everyone tried to go that in-depth about some aspect of Pokemon. Like, it'd be a nightmare. Mm. So, um, you know, that's partly why I wanted... I was like, well, I'm going to talk... I'm going to do my own video about the new game anyways. So it won't yeah. be too focused on the new game. Um, but, but like, God, I, I might even skip out on it myself and just let everybody else do it. Because I know I'm too talkative in particular. I will have a thousand things to say about Pokemon. Yeah. Faux show. A shame I don't have more to say about Bomberman. There's not much to say besides it was a fun game from our childhood. Yeah. And look at how cool it is. Yeah, I mean, watching you play it, like, mostly, hit, like, after the first, like, area has been mostly shit I don't remember or haven't seen, you uh-huh. know? I've just been like, man, this this game has a lot of levels. It does. <laughs> I totally didn't realize how uh, long I feel it like was. over the course of Digi Bros, I've completely lost interest in talking about the game and game design and shit. Like yeah. if, it seems like we talked about that a lot with the earlier games when we when we were playing them. Mostly Dark Souls. Dark was, Souls for sure. It was I usually when Sonic we played a Souls a lot of game. Talking about the game, but mostly I guess ripping on it. Yeah, well, we ripped on Sonic a lot, but we never talked about like anytime we played Zelda, we would barely address the game. Well, and, like I, th- I always wanted Ocarina to, time, but then we I think would... we. we... We voiced all of our Zelda thoughts, and then with the other ones, it was just kind of like, "Oh, we already talked about all the like." Even in Ocarina of Time, we, we didn't like. I thought we were gonna like really run through the stuff, and we barely did. Yeah. Like, it was. It's just you know you that can, is not an aspect of our Let's Play series. Well, just so much of it's self evident, you know. Yeah. Like, what the fuck do you have to say about Bomberman? You jump, you throw bombs. There's <laughs> items and enemies. And goofy mechanics, like well, if, if Devu were here, he would talk about the game feel and the uh, yeah, but like the the music. I mean, that stuff's all effects. kind of self evident just yeah. by looking at it. Like you, if you <laughs> if you watch the video and you have thoughts about those things, congratulations, you know about those things. Yeah, now and exactly. You've had the thoughts, like uh, I don't know, something I've always had a problem with, and this is why I'm not a normal reviewer and why I struggle um. so much with make making. Uh, videos about everything is that I don't like to just apply the same logic to every game yeah. because the way I see it if you've already heard me talk about it once then you can apply it to everything else yourself you know if I say like man controls they really matter and I like do a whole <laughs> analysis of what good controls are yeah. then every time you see a game with good controls really like how do how do I describe how good the controls are in this game like it's just it's super responsive it feels great and like meg 
Bomberman has great momentum, and that's all right. you really need to know. I mean, he basically... I'll just go through a checklist and whatever. Yeah, like, e- exactly. Like, if I've explained how all that stuff works... Fuck. Then I don't want to then, like, on another game, explain all that stuff again. Mm. You know, it's like, you know this stuff now. And I feel like that's what standard reviews are. It's like just apply, like taking a game and applying all of the same logic to it that you applied to the last one mm. and being like, yep, that's also true of this game. And it's like... I want, like, Hypocrite to do a, a review of this game and just talk yeah. about, like, all the few specific details that he really enjoyed and that's yeah. why the game is great. That's why Hippo's the best at doing, like, fucking reviews. Yeah. Because he's good at skipping out all the extra extraneous oh, fuck. details. A giant mecha ice spider just zapped my legs. <laughs> the fuck is this? I don't remember this. I mean, like, I just did a an hour and a half long oh, shit. thing is about this Pokemon. A, a kawaii cat princess? But I was only really talking about things that are different from that Pokemon game that were not true of every other one, you know? Mm. At no point did I have to explain how Pokemon works. I'm in jail. Or, like, you know... Like, I don't consider a review of Pokemon Sun needing to explain whether or not Pokemon on a basic fundamental level is a good game. Yeah. Because at this point, that's been explored. You know, Pokemon's been out for 20 years. You've all played one. I'm not going to sit here and, like, justify the Pokemon experience. It's just what's new about this one, yeah. you know? Um, Bomberman, n- the main distinctions of the mechanics are the bombs and the power-ups. And, like, oh. if you were going to make a video about it, you'd talk about those. Like, the fact that it's about timed explosions and... Throwing bombs. Even And, and even then, this game is particularly simplistic about all that stuff. Like, uh. you know, there's not a huge range of power-ups. There's more of that in Second Attack, right? Uh, yeah, they, they, you have, like, Mega Man-style bombs. Yeah. Where each one has a diff- different, like, pattern and shit. That's pretty cool. I just, I had totally forgot that until you brought it up, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that was neat. I think, like, okay, because as a kid, when I got the second attack, it was kind of out of defeat, because I could never find Hero. So I mm-hmm. bought the second attack instead. And I hadn't liked it as much, because... It didn't have the awesome music and yeah. the the same kind of like bright poppy. It didn't have the same level mechanics and, and like feel. It's not a jumping game, right? But I th- I feel like it might probably be a better game. Probably, you know, I like having better like background art and shit. In terms of just yeah, it's it's got better artwork and it's just more unique. It's more like translating Bomberman mechanics into an adventure game yeah. as opposed to just like this is kind of just a platformer game where you happen yeah. to have bombs, you know. Um, I mean, it's good. Super cool. It's a hell of a lot better than Chameleon Twist. That's for sure. (laughs) Definitely. I like it a lot more than fucking Mario 64. I can't stand playing Mario 64. Well, that's a (laughs) whole other Not good at it at all. It's just the pain in the ass. You have to replay the same levels over and over again. Yeah. Which I guess that's the point of Mario 64. But, uh, whatever, man. Maybe I'd enjoy it after I play Bomberman. Maybe we should play Mario 64. Too bad it'll cost like $50 to fucking buy the game. You could just emulate it. Yeah, but then I don't get to play with the 64 controller. It's not the same, man. That's true. Do we not... I would not emulate this game. It would be pointless. We have have it on the DS, right? Yeah, that's the furthest I got in it was on the DS. And I got like the second to last area kind of thing. You know, it's really funny. Um, when uh, When I was working at Target... One time, um, I, okay, dialing it back a little bit. It was a long time before I got a proper cell phone. Uh-huh. Like, from you had one, and Mom had, like, you guys yeah. both had iPhones. and like well, I had, like, a texter first. Yeah, well, mm. I mean, you guys both had iPhones way before I had a phone at all. Yeah. And then when I was in college, I got, like, a what little flip phone. What the fuck are these? I didn't do this level before. Because I just, like, I completely thought that, like, having a phone was pointless. Like, I was never going to use eyes it. eyes on the wall. I, I That's see him. fucking cool. Freaky. Uh, I thought I'd never use a phone. I thought this is not going to be useful to me at all. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't want a smartphone. I just got a flip phone, like, in, you know, in, like, the 2010s. Like, I didn't care. Um, and then I had oh. a hand-me-down iPhone that I got from Vic. Because uh, you got a new one. at Otakon. <laughs> What? Did I lose a phone yeah, at Yeah, you lost a phone. Or no, you lost my, my texting phone at Otakon. Yeah, that sounds more right. Because that's um, when I, Mama gave me her iPhone, and I gave you my phone, and then you lost it, like, immediately. 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> and I was um, like, you motherfucker. But anyways, uh, you keep saying texting phone. You mean like a BlackBerry, right? It was like a flip. Well, it was, it was a, a flip phone with a full a keyboard, keyboard one, but yeah. like, you know, I only used it for texting and it couldn't do like internet or anything, you know? Um, Fuck. But the reason, like, so I had this this iPhone, this old iPhone, and I, I just hated it. I didn't do anything with it. And then I saw somebody who had Android, and they were playing Mario 64 on their Android. And it blew my fucking mind, because I didn't know phones were that advanced, you know? Yeah. I was like, whoa, you can, you can, and it was like an emulator, you know, that he was running. So I didn't even think about, like, emulating stuff on your phone. I was like, uh. whoa, you know? So suddenly I wanted an Android badly. So, um... You know, when the time came that I could finally get my own proper phone, uh, I got the Note 3, like the most powerful fucking Android phone there is um, at the time. And I, of course, you know, got all these emulators and I got Mario 64 because I'm thinking I'll finally play Mario 64 because I'll be Playing able to it carry on a phone it around with seems it. like it would be impossible. Yeah, well, that's the thing. <laughs> like, quickly you realize that the controls of this game do not go well with a fucking phone screen playing with your thumbs um particularly because you know mario is very movement centric it's all about like the subtleties of how you move yeah. the stick uh and you don't have a stick you just yeah. have a little thumb thing that's why it was a pain in the ass of the ds because it was just that was before the 3ds had a circle pad right It'd be uh, much better on the 3ds i imagine if it if they uh made it so it works with the circle pad then it should. Yeah. but um so yeah, I I played I I played through the first level and I managed to you know I managed to beat the first level. It wasn't too bad the controls. Bubbles. But then I got to the the thing where you jump into Princess Peach's painting and you like slide down the thing and collect the coins uh, and I just could not beat it. Geez. I tried it like twenty times and there's just no way with the with how uh you know how little nuance there was to the controls to control it and I was just like nope, can't play this anymore. Um, so yeah, the fact that it could run the game did not mean it was a good way to play the game. I see you. And then I, uh, you know, I emulated some GBA and, uh, NES games on there, but even that, like, I, I can't stand playing, like, video games without tactile controls. It's, it just feels gross to me. Yeah. It's like so much of the satisfaction of gaming comes from the fact that you press a button and it feels like you did a thing, you Yeah. Know? It's a like a placebo button kind of. The only effect. game I've been able to play on my phone was Pokemon Fire Red. <laughs> yeah, I can see it, doing Pokemon. But at but least even then, like my my phone does a thing where it vibrates when you touch it. Yeah. To hit a button and like that kind of helps. Yeah, the that's that haptic feedback is okay, but. But I hate that I can see my fucking fingerprints on the screen after a while. And, yeah. Like that drives me, fucking insane. It's just not ideal, man. The main games I've played on phones were like Don't Touch the White Tiles, which I was yeah. like obsessed with for six months. It's only good for like bullshit casual games. Yeah. Um or fucking line or uh not line. That was I played that on Steam. What was the dots? That one was shit. But it was the first one I played and got into. Um So yeah. Beep. That's that. That's what I was talking about. I don't remember why I started talking about... Oh, yeah, Mario 64. You yeah, brought Mario we Sunshine! Were, we, were, we were somewhat reviewing Bomberman. And I... Super <laughs> Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine. I'm gonna ball. You know, it's funny, because most people know that Psycho Mantis thing for him saying, like... So you like to play Castlevania, you know, because it was originally yeah. a PS1 game, and most people know it as a PS1 game. But on the GameCube, he could say, Super Mario Sunshine. And the only reason I know that is because it was in the Kajito kun videos. Yeah. And he would just randomly throw that clip in there. So I, I know Mantis best for that, but I've never seen it. I've never seen him quoted for that, like, outside of those videos. What did that do? I don't know. I want to get on top of this know. guy. I don't know. Whatever. Super Woo! Mario Sunshine. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Aqua Tank. Uh, oh, man. Black Friday's coming up in two days. 
Are you gonna, How do you feel about are that? Are you going to buy something on I, Black I, Friday? I wanted to. I was anticipating it for months, and now I just don't have enough money for anything, really. Like, what even did you want? That Camera you... shit, like lenses uh, and shit, you know? Are but they, they the sales, sales aren't. That? Oh, they have sales on all of it. Are you oh, kidding really? me? Of course, it's electronics. Uh, basically. I don't know. Like, it seems like people. I mean, well, there's also like Cyber Monday, which is like yeah. the more electronic focused one. I've never done Black Friday deals. Yeah. Like, I've never looked into it because the deals for that for like the lenses and stuff just aren't good enough. It's like fifty bucks off, but it's like five hundred dollar lens. So like, right. that's, well, that's the thing. That's like, not motivating I, me I too don't much. Feel like. I feel like with Black Friday, there's usually, like, a deal that's good. But it's yeah. usually on something that, uh, that like, I have... got anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, it's mostly TVs that people yeah. buy. Like, it's usually a bunch of flat-screen TVs go on sale. It's and people who TV, so People whatever. who don't already have a gigantic flat-screen TV buy one. But then, now everyone has one. Yeah. So it's like, where do you go from here other than if you're going for, like... 4k or like but even, those are never the ones on sale it's always like yeah. mid-level stuff like you know a 300 hundred dollar tv on sale for a hundred dollars is usually what it is it's like you're not getting a really expensive product you're getting like i don't have a big flat screen yet yeah. but now everyone does so i'm like what can they possibly have you know for sale that i'm gonna want that that like i wouldn't be willing to wait for it to just get cheaper you yeah. know um Oh, sometimes they have, like, consoles and shit. Didn't you get uh, the PS4 on Black Friday? You did. <sighs> yes, I did. That's actually true. <laughs> now that you mention it, last year on Black Friday. Yeah, because they added, they added some special deal. Well, yeah. Yeah, it was that. So, okay, maybe I have done yeah. Black Friday Probably a great once. time to get a 3DS if you want the new Pokemon, you know? Right. Woo! Um, yeah, mm, I guess I'll look into it. I definitely, I, I want to go look around, you know? I know Steam's doing right. a bunch, you know, giant sale as always. Yeah, but I never played any like, Steam yeah, games. Yeah, I don't, the only games I'm interested in anymore are fucking Pokemon, so, like, I'm not gonna, I just play Pokemon again if I'm gonna waste my time playing a game. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, like, I, I really wanted a PS4 was the uh, thing, you know? Like, I wanted, I, I already wanted one before Black Friday, and I was, like, considering buying one. And then when I realized there was Black Friday coming up and there'd be deals on it, then I held off. There's uh, nothing that I... Like, I don't want an Xbox One, you know? Yeah. There's nothing I'm interested in on that thing. Uh, so, I don't know. The Nintendo Switch was coming out, that would be one thing. Yeah, that would... I mean, they wouldn't be having a deal on that already, yeah. probably. <laughs> uh so that that brings me to a, a topic I was thinking of. Which if somewhere is, had a PlayStation TV on sale, I'd buy that. Even uh, though I want one anyways, and they're hard to find, so probably yeah. nowhere will have a deal on that. I'm sure there's sales on VR shit. Yeah, I hate VR. Yeah, fuck VR, because it's like a thousand dollars. If VR were like a hundred dollars, I'd be all about it. But VR is not a hundred dollars. It's several hundred dollars. It's what were you too about many to say? Hundred dollars. I'm. I gotta think of the right term for it, but it's almost like, like, new console game entitlement. Cause like, I watch all these fucking idiots speculate on Nintendo Switch and shit, and like, uh -huh. and talk about the rumors and all the crap and like what games are gonna come out, and like, they're the lineup they've announced already it's like it's gonna be it's gonna launch with the new mario game a new 3d mario game and like the you know the the good 3d mario style is right. what they're they're advertising and then there's gonna be zelda breath of the wild is either gonna come out like in the summer or like closer to when it comes but that's out. also gonna be on wii u right yeah which will be it'll be on wii u but then you know like if you're gonna get a nintendo switch it's gonna be right. the the better performance version and shit and then like they they have a bunch of re-releases of wii u games which on the one hand, it's like they're re-releasing Wii U games, and that kind of sucks. But then Nintendo's probably thinking of this in the way that this is supposed to be the console that sells better than the Wii U. Right. So most of the people haven't played the Wii U games because it didn't sell well anyway. Right, nobody owns So Wii U. some of those games deserve to be replayed and remade because they're great games, and they should be lasting 10 years, you know? Like, I mean, it is sucks the console that the, not going to be backwards dead. compatible? 
Probably not, probably not if they're re-releasing half the games. I mean, if they're releasing them to make it, like, HD or something, then that could be... Or, like, you know... Well, like it's... A... They're they're doing, like, Smash Bros. re-release with all the, the DLC, you know, Splatoon with all the DLC Right, kind so of it's, thing. it's more like a like a Greatest Hits collection, yeah. Platinum Supposedly edition. Supposedly they're gonna do Xenoblade Chronicles, so yeah, it'll be like a re-release of, of their best Wii U games, which is probably great if you didn't have a Wii U, you know? Right. Because now you, now you get to play the best version of the game. But then it's like, these people bitch about there not being enough launch titles to like justify buying it. Which is, it's said the price point's supposed to be like 250 bucks, cheapest console imaginable. And then like, it's already got a Mario title and a Zelda title right out the gate. Which you, those are going to be the best games for the whole fucking lineup. So whatever. And then like, how many, how many fucking great games do you need right out right out the door like how how much more money do you need to spend on top of the initial console and like how impatient can you be how many how many great games like this do you need for a console making, i don't know cuz it's like the the console does need a lot of great games and they should announce them but do they all need to be fucking day one games like i don't know uh like I can understand one great game on day one or one or two, so you have an option just in case you don't want a Mario game, you get a Zelda game. But then it's a it's a it's another thing with like the Wii U in general too, because like I have a a bunch of great Wii U games, <laughs> but it's always complained about as not having enough games. But then I don't have many PS3 games that I enjoy. Like how many PS4 games do you have I enjoy? A ton of PS3 games. Yeah, but, like, how many of them are games that, like, I really give a fuck well, about? Well, PS3 was a console that everyone complained had no games, as yeah. was the PS4, <laughs> as is the Wii U. And, and so no is the anymore. Xbox. Like, there's just no games. Or right. people just expect way more games than, than can humanly well, be possible. Well, it's not that it's... The problem is that the modern industry sucks, and yeah. there should be way more good games. There should be... Uh, with the with the PS1 and PS2, there were new games coming out fucking constantly. Yeah. There was always good new games. So that's why people are mad. Because our generation grew up with new games being out all the time, and now they're never out, you know? <laughs> and I don't... I do not I also, blame I, anyone for being I have my opposite that. complaint of fucking Nintendo just needs to make more new IPs, because... <laughs> Yeah. It's getting ridiculous. It's like if you guys just like had some more teams and made some new games, you wouldn't have any problems. You just keep trying to they're trying or to not piss off everyone yeah. who likes your old they're IPs. They're trying to be Disney with their games and it's like that's just games haven't been around that long and so they're trying to be the first real legacy of games or something. It's weird. I don't they know need, how to describe instead it. Instead right. of instead of shutting down uh the Metroid 2 remake. They should have paid them to let them exactly. release it. Exactly. You know? <laughs> they need uh, to, to... They just need to make more new games. It's like, at some point, Zelda was a new IP and it did really well. You guys can can make a new IP well, they made and it can be great. Yeah, and it's done really well. Right. And, like, just make more new games. <laughs> Like they're they're planning to. All right, we got to wrap up. This there's episode. rumor you that got, there's a new. You got into a big topic Nintendo right at the Switch end of the episode. Fucking Pikmin game, and it's gonna be a reboot of Pikmin. And I'm like, has Pikmin ever done well? Is this new Pikmin gonna do well at all? What makes you think Pikmin didn't do well? I don't know, cause it doesn't seem like anyone ever gives a shit about it. Uh, you'd be surprised. Next time on Digi Bros. More of that. <laughs>